Hey everybody. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. So, I've been meaning to talk about this for a long time. Uh, ever since this DCU was announced, I've been not a fan, really. I think there's too many reboots in uh, comic book movies these days. You just got a new Batman, we're gonna have another one, whatever James Gunn's wacky DCU ends up being. Just looking at this new Superman film, it's gonna be a freaking mess. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It was actually kind of amusing to me, but uh, I'm gonna prove it here today in this video. So, when Gunn announced this DCU, he was always he talked about how all these shows and games were not all going to be connected, which I think is a mistake. It's a huge mistake. If you know anything about the gaming community or industry, really, most movie game tie-ins are terrible. Because they're always constricted with what they can actually do as far as stories. Like, oh, the people that are voicing the characters in animation are going to be in the movies and live action. Sounds fascinating. Why is that your priority? And why is it also a priority to have all these damn characters in the Superman movie? So this here's no proof right here. Superman set photo teases the villainous Maxwell Lord to place in new DCU. Instead of doing that in a JL film or some other movie, maybe I think a Batman film or something, put it in the Superman movie. And another article I found on here says that it's going to throw in these creature commanders or whatever the hell they are. First, who the freak are they? And two, why would you put them in a Superman movie? Not their own film. Superman movie. On top of Hawk Girl, Mr. Terrific, Guy Gardner, Lantern, and tons of other characters that he's throwing in here that don't need to be in this film. Like, if we want to establish this Superman properly, all you need are the core characters Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane, Lex Luthor, the Kents, maybe a Bruce Wayne appearance. Uh, maybe Kara, because she's his cousin. She's getting her own film, apparently. Fine. But Maxwell Ward? I'm like, why? Why? Everything today is about the next cinematic universe instead of telling singular, complete stories. This is why the comic people think that comic book films are losing their touch. Because people don't tell single stories Everything's got to be connected. You got to have a bunch of cameos. Why don't you just tell a Superman story? <laughs> I was like, I'll tell you this. Back in the day with Chris Revere, didn't have Keaton Batman showing up out of nowhere or Linda Carter Wonder Woman showing up in the middle of a film. In the middle of his film, so called Superman. So it would have been stupid. It would never work. This is why the previous DCU f failed because they went from Man of Steel to Dawn of Justice. It's barely a Batman film, definitely not a Superman movie. Then they throw on Doomsday, then they throw on Wonder Woman, they kill off Superman, and then they make JL. <laughs> Superman's not even in the film. And it's like there's like four members of the freaking JL. I'm like, what the hell is this? Aqua Guy, Flash, none of these characters were established, by the way, which is the problem getting to. Aqua Guy, Cyborg, not even on Justice League. At least not the original team. Cyborg, he's not even on the JL. 
he's not even on a version of Justice League team. Pretty sure he's on the Titans, but uh, anyway, there's just it's gonna be a mess. I don't really care what Gunn says at this point, just this dude is used to doing team based films like Suicide Squad or Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't really go from that to Superman. Let's <laughs> look at this article here. Superman set photos feature DC Easter eggs and not to Tim Drake Robin. Like, why? Why? <laughs> this this feels like it's going to be a walking advertisement for two hours. There's no story here. None. In the first picture he released, the first picture he released was this. <laughs> it looks like he's, remember Superman 3? When he is a, uh, drunk in the bar and he split himself in half. That's what he looks like here. He looks depressed. Meanwhile, the city's probably getting blown up or something. And he's just sitting there, put on his boots. Like, what the heck was this? <laughs> now just like, we're really getting to the point where it's tough for me to get excited for these movies now because are they even going to be movies or are there going to be mini advertisements for two and a half hours? Because if I'm watching a Superman movie, I don't need to be seeing Mr. Terrific or Hawk Girl or freaking Maximal Lord or the Creature Commandos, wherever the frick they are. <laughs> Just take how much screen time is he going to have in his own movie? That's the problem that we keep coming to with us. How much screen time is Superman gonna have his own movie? It was called Superman. It was called Superman Legacy Wear, which I thought was a dumb title, but I just miss the days when you go to a theater and see a Batman film like the Batman. Which was actually about in the Batman, not about, hey, let's throw in Superman, hey, let's throw in the Flash, hey, let's throw in Wonder Woman, but still call it the Batman. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the reason why a Dark Knight trilogy worked with all the extra characters is because it was a crime drama. Dark Knight is a crime drama. That's why you can have Salvatore Moroni and the entire mob and Joker and Harvey Dent, Two Face, and still have it work because it's a crime drama. It works that way. This is not going to work with all these extra characters th thrown in there. So we can set up a stupid new DC, whatever it's called. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure this kid would be fine. I'm sure he looks the part. I mean, this is a Photoshop picture, but he definitely looks the part, so he'll be fine. I just kind of feel bad for the guy if he's going to be like shoved to the back of his own movie. So this guy can build his cinematic universe instead of just telling a one complete story and building from there, which is why the MCU worked, at least in the beginning, was because they took their time, established Iron Man, his world, the, and then they didn't become a cinematic universe till the end of credits when they first showed up at the end. That's when the MCU started. Didn't start in the middle of the Iron Man film because they were setting up everything. Telling Tony Stark's story. You want to set up your DCU? Just tell a Clark Kent story. You don't need the entire DC universe to tell that story. You don't. The only character that should appear as a side character is Batman. That's it. That's it. You know what you do? Like I'll tell you exactly what you can do. Have Bruce Wayne host a press conference in Metropolis. That way you can establish Clark Kent being a reporter, maybe he's covering a story for the planet. Bruce Wayne's on stage, maybe they lock eyes for a minute so they know each other. Bruce walks off stage after, and then maybe he's going in his car to meet Lex Luthor. Bam, it's maybe what, five minutes? 
That's how you establish that there's other characters in this universe. You only need to have, oh, look, it's Hawker flying over the uh, building. Look, it's a terrific talking in spears or something. Like that. <laughs> you look at Guy Gardner flying around. So I'm like, oh, great. The hell they have to do with Superman? Put them in a Justice League movie. Put Guy Gardner in the Green Lantern show. Which that was him there. They just talked about it, why I'm concerned for a Captain America film because they keep throwing all those other characters in there. Just tell a Captain America story for Christ's sake. Why is it so hard to do? <laughs> why is it so hard to do these days? I just I don't understand. At this point, it's just mind you, while he's busy throwing creature commanders and and all the other crap into the Superman movie, there's been no announcement on recasting the Flash or Wonder Woman. You need to establish your core characters. I don't think Batman's even been cast yet. Apparently, he's got a movie too. See, where the previous DCU failed was they didn't establish their new Batman properly. It's one of the reasons why I like the Rob Patterson Batman because it was about him. It wasn't about, we're going to make a cinematic universe with all that crap. No, tell your damn story. Set in Gotham, tell a story in Gotham. Batman don't give a damn about how in Metropolis. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Unless the Joker, like in the original animated Batman Superman film, most of the Joker is in Metropolis. You know, read for him to be there. He doesn't care. So that's my, that's my two cents on that. I don't need all these characters showing up out of nowhere. Oh, but we need to see that this is a world of heroes. Okay. But can you do that in a JL film? What do you have to do with this? You can you can mention them in like Daily Planet Oracle or something. I don't need to physically see them. Just it's always gonna be a mess. Again. I'm just I'm not down for it. I'm tired of origin stories. And it is kind of an origin of this DCU, not Superman per se. But it is an origin of the whatever DCU, whatever it's called. A jumbled mess in my opinion. But hey, I'm just a guy with a microphone on the computer. What do I know, right?